In this exercise, we're going to use the box with hole Fusion Archive model that's included with the working files for this course. Once you've got that model open and loaded, we're going to go to the Modify menu. From the Modify menu, we're going to select Shell. What the shell does is, as you can see from the tooltip, it removes material and creates a thin wall or hollow shape. So let's select shell to start it. And what it's looking for us to do is select faces or bodies. Now, if we didn't select anything, it would create a true hollow bodied shape. So it would remove all the interior material, leaving us with a thin walled solid. By selecting faces or bodies, we're actually selecting the faces that we want to delete and we want to remove from the models. We're actually going to open up the model in this case. So let's select the top face and let's select the side face that is closest to us. Let's select and set the inside diameter to half an inch. Right now the direction is going inside, so our box isn't getting any larger. We're adding the thickness of the material to the inside of the model. If I was to flip this to outside, notice that the thickness has changed and we're now specifying the outside thickness, so our box would actually get larger. Or we can actually select both where we can set an inside and an outside thickness. In our case, we want this to go inside and we're going to click OK to create the feature. Now it has gone through and it has shelled everything. So there was a whole feature that was already created. So Fusion said, OK, I see the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shell around that feature. This isn't really the desired result I want. So let's use the timeline and let's click and drag the hole feature so that it occurs after the shell feature. So we can use the timeline to actually change the order of operations. So now what we can see is that the whole operation, the whole feature, now goes through the shell feature. Like all features within Fusion, let's double click on it within the timeline. Let's adjust the thickness to a quarter of an inch. And let's click OK to update the model. Now you might have noticed one other feature within the shell dialog. So let's just double click on that feature. And it's a tangent chain. And this works very similar to tangent chain within the fill in chamfer features in that it will automatically select tangentially connected faces. So instead of having to select faces individually, it will go through and automatically select anything that's tangentially connected to the face that you've selected. So that's how you can easily create thin walled solids within Fusion 360.